My name is Janet Longmore and I'm here to talk about addressing the digital divide. We have seen of late right across the world a massive mobilization, particularly among the young generation. People connecting is very powerful. People are sharing experiences. Uh, in some cases, skill development is happening online and over the internet. But in these human networks, they are simultaneously inclusive and exclusive. The ones who are included are really the digitally wealthy, and those excluded are the digitally poor. Well, there are 650 million mobile phone subscribers in Africa, but the penetration of smartphones is 5%. Over 90% of the world's population doesn't have broadband access, and this means access to the data that we need to work effectively, to learn effectively. So what needs to be done to address this? There are monopoly markets still out there that create huge barriers. Affordability is an issue. Prices have to come down, and we really need to equip the next generation to be that smartphone generation and create a more level playing field. We had some encouraging news about new platforms that are being built that are mobile friendly platforms that don't advantage the West but are there for a young person who creates an app in the slums of Nairobi that that app can be applied and be readily available without having a gatekeeper approval on it. Locally relevant creativity and locally relevant content and let's skill up these young people in in a digitally literate way to know how to use all these new tools of technologies for their own economic development for online learning what we need to do is reduce the gap between the digitally wealthy and the digitally poor so that on a level playing field basis young people in particular are able to have the skills and the technologies that will allow them to innovate in the use of technology for their own economic development.